Hi there, all my crafty friends. I'm Donna from Mason Creations, etc. And welcome to my channel. I'm going to decoupage a beautiful round glass bottle using that same lavender and bees rice paper as I did with the mason jar. But this one will have a fine line crackle finish. And I'm going to antique it in a very different way. This is going to be a really cool effect and can be done in any color under the sun. So if you're ready, let's make a mess. The first thing I'm doing is wiping the bottle off with an alcohol wipe. The bottle needs to be free from any dirt and fingerprints. I'm going to brush on Polyvine's Multi-Surface Lacquer. This is a great primer for any shiny surface, such as glass or ceramic. I'm using the dead flat finish because I want to remove the shine. This will give paint or decoupage glue a great surface to adhere to. Paint won't chip, scratch, or peel. This and all the products you're going to see me use today came from decoupagenapkins.com, my wonderful sponsors. If you don't wish to see the captions, you have the ability to turn them off. Tap your screen, go into the settings icon in the top right corner, click on captions, then turn off captions. I let that dry for two hours and now I'm going to paint the bottle with Dixie Belle white chalk paint. I let that dry for about an hour and then added a second coat and let that dry for another hour. Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments. It's fun to see what cities and countries you are all watching from. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States and it is just a gorgeous day here in Las Vegas. Now I'm giving it a quick light sanding to make sure I have a nice smooth surface. I'm going to use this beautiful rice paper with lavender and little bees. I used this in another recent video on a mason jar that's a matching soap dispenser. I'll leave you a link in my description box below in case you'd like to watch that video as well. I'm using a water brush so that I can easily tear the rice paper and remove as much of the background as possible. A torn edge is much easier to blend than a sharp cut edge, so make sure you always tear your rice paper or napkin before decoupaging. A water brush has a cartridge that you fill with water and then brush it on the napkin or rice paper. The water dispenses easily, so this is really convenient. You can find this in my description box below, in my favorite tools section, just in case you want to check it out. I'm using Polyvine Multi-Surface Lacquer as my decoupage glue. All of the Polyvine varnishes can double as a decoupage glue. I use them all in that capacity, except the crackle varnishes. I brushed it on, then added my image and brushed more of the varnish on top of the image going from the center to the outside edge. This will remove any bubbles. DecoupageNapkins.com has such a great selection of rice papers as well as napkins that you can purchase one at a time. Rub-on transfers, molds, modeling clay, stencils, stamps, scrapbook paper, and much more. Over 7,000 products. They carry three lines of paint. Dixie Belle chalk mineral paint, clay mud paint, and Pentart paints and a wide range of colors. They are wonderful to work with and send out their orders fast. They are truly your one-stop shop for craft supplies. They offer several automatic discounts when checking out on orders over $50, $75, and $125. Subscribe to their newsletter by entering your email address and you'll receive 10% off your next order. Make sure you check them out. I'll leave you some links in my description box below. I'm going to give this bottle a very interesting finish by adding a crackle system that looks just like aged porcelain. This is one of my favorite crackle effects. I'm using Pentart's Fine Line Crackle Varnish. It's a two-part system and I'm brushing on component number one. I'll let that dry for about an hour or so until it's clear. Once dry, I'll brush on component number two. This step is an amber color. Use thin, even strokes. If you get a buildup or drips anywhere, it'll show when dry. 
I'll let this dry for a couple of hours. Once dry, you'll see the cracks. After using fine line crackle varnish, you cannot use any water-based products. It will ruin your crackle finish. You can only use solvent-based antiques and sealers. You can use a heat gun or blow dryer for just a couple of minutes and it will give you more cracks and deepen them a little bit. All the products and tools I use and recommend in my videos have been tested by me. I won't suggest something that I haven't used myself. Each product will be listed in my description box below and we'll have a blue link to make it easy for you to find. Any of the links I provide are safe for you to click on. Since the rice paper image is in shades of purple, I want to antique all these lovely cracks in purple. I'm using some gorgeous purple mica powder. This is super easy to do and has a gorgeous outcome. I'm brushing it on with a makeup brush and then wiping off the excess with a soft cloth. Make sure you don't use anything wet since this bottle hasn't been sealed yet. Remember, no water on that fine line crackle yet. Mica powder is fun to use as an antique. It's beautiful and has a slight iridescence to it. And it's available in a lot of colors or you can mix them to create literally any color under the sun. If you're enjoying this video, please let me know by hitting that like button. And why not share this with a friend? Thanks for doing that. I'm using Pentart Clear Varnish in a gloss finish. It's solvent based so it's safe to use over the fine line crackle finish. This will need to dry for a couple of hours. Now this bottle is protected against moisture. You'll be able to wipe it down with a damp cloth if needed. The best way to clean your brush after using the Pentart varnishes is with good old fashioned turpentine. I tried other solvent cleaners like paint thinner and mineral spirits, but the only one that cleans your brush well is the turpentine. I put a little in a glass jar and soak my brush overnight. Then wash with soap and water the next day. I'm working on some great spring projects for the upcoming weeks. I'll be doing some decoupage, 3D air dry clay, and mixed media canvases. I am going to do a series of reverse decoupage clear glass plates with some really different and fun techniques on each one. You'll want to subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Don't forget, all of the wonderful products I'm using today can be found at my favorite place for craft supplies, decoupagenapkins.com, and I'll leave you links in my description box below. I put together a playlist of some other tutorials you may enjoy. Click the picture on the right to be taken directly to that playlist. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking my picture in the top right corner so you don't miss any future videos.